And my name is Mari Sanchez. I'm an associate professor at the Oxford University College. And with this slide, <coughs> I am going to talk to you about the use of DevOps for e-learning systems. Um, um, you hear me say we during the presentation. That means myself and my colleague, Ricardo Colón. So uh, let's get started. Uh, this study is based on the importance of uh, DevOps and e-learning systems. On one hand, e-learning systems, in particular learning management systems, become very popular among uh, <coughs> universities. Uh, but their adoption is not limited to learning institutions. And e learning tools are evolving to, towards the cloud uh, because cloud computing is very attractive. It provides um, dynamically um, adaptable or scal scalable infrastructure, uh, supplying computation, storage, and communication. Uh, as capabilities uh, um, as, a, as a services allowing uh, flexibility and mobility in the use of uh, resources uh, for teaching purposes. On the other hand, DevOps is an approach uh, to reduce software development times by integrating a set of tools in order to get a better and automate transition towards uh, production. Uh, in fact, DevOps recognizes also the integration between software development and its operational development and, uh, needs, and they recognize that there be a continuous one. And there is a growing interest in the in the scientific literature uh, for this topic. Finally, DevOps is highly connected to tools and uh, cloud computing. In this scenario, we propose a multivocal literature review over a systematic literature review because uh, we want to analyze uh, not only um, the scientific literature, uh, but also the professional uh, literature available on this topic. Uh, the research approach uh, start uh, with a planning. Um, uh, to get the planning, a protocol was uh, defined, and we formulate uh, two research questions. And um, in order to answer the uh, research questions, we um, uh, found uh, three keywords. Uh, one for scoping, it's DevOps, and two for integration. Uh, and learning systems are uh, learning management systems. Uh, regarding the, uh, the search strategy, it includes two, search resource and search process. In the first one, um, we include uh, two um, databases, Google and Google Scholar. Uh, for this research, uh, we consider that it, uh, uh, they are uh, uh, enough because uh, uh, both of them uh, co covers all major publisher values. In the search process, uh, we find the inclusion and exclusion criteria. And finally, we uh, conducted a data uh, structure and data analysis. This figure shows uh, the general approach of the um, uh, search. Uh, we, per we apply the search in May and uh, returning uh, 232 papers uh, in Google uh, in order to limit the number of, of uh, items we apply a relevance ranking approach. After that, uh, we apply the inclusion exclusion criteria and uh, we um, 
uh, after that, uh, read uh, the full text. Finally, we get 25 primary studies uh, for data extraction. At this point, we apply uh, test for test approach uh, in order to um, check the consistency, consistency of uh, inclusion and exclusion criteria. Uh, regarding the results, um, the first question uh, is how has DevOps evolved in the e-learning system area? As we can see in this figure, 12% uh, of the primary studies come from the scientific literature. That means that the majority of uh, studies come from the great literature. From another point of view, um, the, uh, this figure shows uh, the distribution of the primary studies by year. As we can see, uh, last two years, uh, the interest is growing, but there are uh, seven primary studies uh, in which um, the year of publication is not available. Regarding the second question, what is the use of DevOps for a learning system? As we can see in this figure, uh, we focus on the type of publication. Uh, at this point, it was clear that the European project uh, was the most significant effort for the research. Why? <coughs> because uh, this project developed technologies that support informal learning uh, in the workplace for a small and medium sized enterprise. In the group uh, called conference, there are six uh, primary studies. Three of them um, come from uh, scientific literature, uh, but um, only two of them uh, Plan that uh, are using uh, tools. And the others is not clear, Mention they mention DevOps, but it's not clear how that is used. Um, it's like a suggestion. Finally, the jobs ask give, uh, give uh, us a good overview of the real demand of uh, DevOps engineers in the learning, uh, learning industry and the service of products, uh, three of them uh, are blogs and the others uh, correspond uh, a website of companies that claim to use uh, some kind of uh, DevOps approach. In conclusion, uh, despite the fact that there is a low number of primary studies, these um, multivocal literature review give us a good overview of the topic. And the school revealed a nascent but still modest interest in DevOps in e-learning solutions. Uh, we believe the increasing adoption of the cloud e-learning solutions and the increasing pressure to DevOps uh, develop, uh, deploy uh, new versions of software with both the interest in this research area. So the use of DevOps should be investigating the T due to its potential on a uh, learning uh, industry. And finally, it would be interesting to conduct research, but not only in DevOps tool, uh, but also in other uh, DevOps aspects such as practices, cultural, or, or methods. Thank you very much.